interesting about Facebook that I have learned over time is that sometimes there's multiple ways to do something. And so keep that in mind where I'll show you one way, the way I prefer to do things, but there might be a different way. For example, there is a way to access ads from your Facebook page without having a business manager account. It's not recommended, but you can do it. So if you're the only one running Facebook ads, you can do it that way. If you do want to give other people access at some point and you want to grow, the best way to do that is to create a business manager account. So in this video, we're gonna talk a little bit in more depth about business manager. So this is your business manager account. And within it, you can see here, you've got your ad account at the top and you've got your Facebook page section down here. And yes, they don't, have the word Facebook here, but it's your Facebook page. These are Facebook pages. And so you have to have access to both. And let me sh share with you how that works. For example, when you go to the settings, um, you can give people access. So let's just pick person and we'll give them admin access. Okay, so now what do I want to give them access to? Um, it's highlighted on pages, so I want to give them access to the Facebook page, Tucked In Marketing. And if you scroll down to Ad Account, I want to also give him access to the Ad Account. So one over here, one over here. A lot of times, just by default, it lands on pages. People will give access. I will usually ask for admin access. They send the invite and they think, okay, I just gave them access. But if you look, we're highlighted under Aiden. Under assigned assets, we have the page tucked in marketing, but that's it. As opposed to clicking on my name, you can see page tucked in marketing, ad account tucked in marketing. There's two parts to it. So I, I really wanted to emphasize that um, and make that super clear that you need pages and you need ad accounts. So we just sent Aiden an invite to access the Facebook page. Do you wanna see what it looks like on the receiving end? Let me show you a glimpse into his email. So you'll see it didn't show up here. So right away I, I looked in these tabs and I can see here that Tech Team HQ has invited you to work on their business on Facebook. So that is what happens. It could go to spam, it could go to social. So please be careful and ask people to check. And so you are given access, you click get started. You type in your name and then you would need to log in. So I'm currently logged in under my account, so I'm not gonna go ahead and do this, but basically you log into your Facebook account and you'll be able to get in. What I did wanna show you is what if they never got the invite? And actually that does happen quite a bit. So going back to how I share that there's sometimes two ways to do the same thing. Well, here's the second way. Um, if you go back to, to the section into your business manager, your business setting, um, go back and highlight Aiden, you can click on resend. So the, currently it's showing pending because I didn't accept since I'm currently logged in as myself. You click on resend and here's a second option. If the person you want to invite has difficulties receiving the invitation, you may use this URL. So you copy this and you send this over and that's another way Aiden Pack can accept the invite. So that's the two way you can add someone. So I'm gonna go back in here um, and as we purposefully just gave him access to the pages, um, to be whole, we need to give him access to the ad account. So then you go to add assets, ad account, choose tucked in marketing, admin access, save changes. The ad account has been added, done. So now he has access to both when he accepts the invite. So just to recap, that is what a business manager is. That is why you need an ad account and a Facebook page and how you can give both access to other people. And this is going to come in very handy as you start to scale and you hire someone later on or maybe a team member or maybe your business partner, whoever it is. Now you know how to give people access confirm that they were able to receive it or have a backup solution if they can't, if they never received the email invite. So hope this helps. Like, comment,
comment or subscribe if you like to continue hearing more. Thanks.